With XRP price on the rise, it's hard to tell if we're going to face further disappointment or is this the moment we've all been waiting for? Stay tuned and find out. What's up everybody, it's Cashflow Nexus, your favorite channel is back again, giving you the latest and greatest updates on the charts. Today we will be taking a closer look at XRP. And if you are new to this channel and you like what you see and hear, and feel compelled to sub, hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share it. Alright, be sure to give me a thumbs up because it helps me with the algorithm. It helps uh, promote my channel and also helps uh, me give her, uh, deliver content to more people that are needing this information. So without further ado, we're going to jump right into today's list. Starting off with scripture, as you know, we are a God-fearing channel. Uh, then we'll start off with the subscriber shout out and we'll jump right into the technical analysis on XRP. So coming out of Proverbs 11 and 14, uh, I believe that this is a word that God wants me to tell everybody because it's been in my spirit for a while and I think it's time for people to hear because I think it's something that everybody can relate to at this time. So it says, where no counsel is, the people fall, but in the multitude of counselors, there is safety. So when I think of this scripture, I think of times where if I needed you know, counseling on something that I, that could have been prevented, whether it's a decision that I've made or something that has been, uh, you know, something that has caused some type of affliction in my life. It's like, so think of situations that we've all been in where we know that we should have asked somebody for help, but we took it upon ourselves to, you know, go ahead and do do what we wish that we wanted to do because we felt some type of way about the situation without be getting any guidance, any spiritual guidance or any guidance or, the, or some direction to get pointed into. So when you are, when you get counseling from people, you get another perspective, you get wisdom from that perspective. Um, think about when, like, so let me give you an example for myself. So <laughs> this is funny. So back when I was in high school, I got into a scuffle with, uh, you know, I got jumped, but hey, uh, I got into a scuffle with, you know, two gentlemen. It ended up being a pretty big deal because, um, you know, it, 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 it was bigger than what it should have been. But know this, I, what I should have done at that time, I should have asked for counseling in regards to should I have gone and to enemy territory without any, you know, type of uh, backup or anything, you know. So when you think of stuff like that that you could prevent because you you're 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 feeling you're going out of emotion, you're not going well, you're not you don't have that help or you don't have that uh, have or let's better say this, you don't have God leading you or people that are spiritually led leading you that are God fearing that there if you don't have a circle that's going to keep you grounded because there's a saying in scripture that iron sharpens iron and when you have iron sharpening iron you're getting more wisdom you're getting more knowledge in how to handle certain situations so always be surrounded by people that have their best interests to help you out along the way in your life get could definitely get you out of situations and i could speak on a lot of more situations based off this scripture um, that being said, also if you go to church if you want, uh, that's a good place to have a uh, good counseling and get advice from people that are spirit led and if it's a spirit led church. But that being said, jumping into the subscriber shout out, subscriber shout out goes to EK Mix. That interesting name. Thank you for supporting my channel and for tuning in. I appreciate everybody that's a subscriber. Y'all have blessed me and got me this far. Um, I'm still going to provide you guys with great content. If you want to get a subscriber shout out, definitely, you know, comment in the comment section, like this video and, you know, help me get this video to like a hundred to 50. No, let's go for 50 likes in this video. I think we could do 50 likes, right? We could do 50 likes, right? So let's go for that. 
But definitely let me know your thoughts if you want to, you know, get a shout out. I like to, you know, respond back to you guys and get, you know, feedback from you guys as well. So that being said, let's jump right into the technical analysis. This is what everybody's been waiting for. I think XRP is doing something big right now. So it's time to dive into these charts. All right. Stay tuned. All right, you guys, we are on the charts right now. We are looking at XRP and we are trying to forecast and see what direction and get a good idea of where the market's heading. Uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I had put out a post earlier saying that we get a bounce, you know, at this level. And you see, we have gotten a bounce at this level. It was a support. It was a test of this breakout back in the past. If you look here, it broke out and, you know, it has a range at this point and it came back down to test and it has shown true that this area is a good area of support but now we have resistance in this area that's circled the the daily candle just closed just now as i'm speaking so it's interesting to see what's going to happen now as this day the next daily candle starts forming and it looks like it's already trying to push up at this point so we do have this in way structure that I do see. I said if we do not get above this, you know, this cloud area, this area where we had resistance right here, we had resistance here, we had resistance here. It looks like the market would have, you know, reverted back down to the downside. But it looks like we are moving up higher. We broke at this point. So that's awesome to see that XRP is moving up higher. What I do like seeing here is for price to break this this zone here this these two red lines if we could get above these two red lines xrp could see this level here and it would be a test right here to see what's if xrp could get past and move even higher to this blue zone here which will complete this n wave which is our a b c d wave right here creating that n wave um looking at it on the lower time frame let's go ahead and check it out we already have broken support i mean resistance at this point we are getting a bit a bullish tk cross at this area we haven't gotten it yet because we are still underneath the cloud so this is still bearish until we get above it but right now it looks like we are starting to turn into a bullish market especially once we get that bullish tk cross uh Looking at it on the RCI, it says that we are still bearish, trending to the downside. Once we get above this negative 70, 80 level here, then we could start looking to move higher to the upside. The red signal line has stalled out and it has shown us that price is, you know, we could wait for our signal, our next signal to enter the market, whether it be coming down or whether it be coming, you know, continuing to the upside. So that's something that I would like to see before entering without any confirmation. Um, so you see here that this is our, the area that we are trying to fight right now. If we could get back into this level here, we could definitely see some, uh, you know, we might see another battle at the at this zone here and see if price wants to move higher. So this is an area that I'm really concerned with because the B level is known as fluctuation. And if price fluctuates in this area, that means it may range or it may, you know, you know, come down abruptly at this point. So this is something that I like to see tested here. And once we get past this level, this getting through this green line will be, you know, another area that I would like to look at because we might just make a, a higher, a higher high. So that might be something to look at. Uh, once we get past this level, the B level between once we get past our red zone and our green zone, the blue zone is going to be an easy place to target. That's what I'm looking at right now for this market. We have to get above here first. Uh, once I so these are the two scenarios I will draw out. Let me go ahead and get a arrow out for you guys so y'all could see this. So here's the po positive. If we get a break here. And here's our negative. Probably come back down to this level or lower. So I'm going to draw this right here. So you get the idea of where the market's gonna, you know, head to if this does happen. 
So I want to erase that. I want too much clutter on my screen. But this is what I see. This is a scenario that I see right now. Look at it. Looking at it on the one hour time frame, going to break it down a little further. One thing I am going to be watching, we do have a cup here, a cup pattern that's formed on the one hour time frame. So we may come back up to this level, make it a bounce here and then continue up. Or we may just come up right now, we don't know. So that's something to be seen. But we do have a cup formed in here. So if we do complete this cup, we will have to form a handle, which will give us coming to this level and possibly to this level or this level will be where the cup will form, the handle of the cup will form and then a move higher. So that's something that I would like to see happen. Um, will it happen? Don't know yet, but it's, you know, it's something that we need to be uh, mindful of and watch the market carefully. So that's my analysis for today, you guys. If you enjoyed this video, comment on it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on this video. Get this video to 50 likes. Share this video. Retweet it. Do whatever you can. But thank you guys for st uh, tuning in. And God bless you guys. Stay tuned for the next. Peace.